weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. <laughs> Oh, man, we've got ourselves a winner of a day out there. It's Thursday, sunshine from start to finish. Of course, yesterday we were seeing the clouds break up a little bit at this time, and we did see a decent amount of sun in the afternoon. Now, one thing we do have today that we haven't seen much of this week is a bit of a breeze. In fact, it's 15 miles an hour, so it's kicking pretty good out there. And This could be the one breezy day that we have out uh, during the work week. Now, over the weekend, it can be a little breezy at times, but really not too bad until first thing next week will the wind kick back in. We had a blustery week last week. We don't need... Another blustery week, so we're getting a break, and I love it. Mother Nature's helping us out today, that's for sure, as we look at our Heads Construction Tower Cam shot at the lush trees on either side of the Henderson Strip. One lonely car working its way northbound. <laughs> oh, there's the trucks. Okay, they're just kind of lagging behind. Not a whole lot of traffic on Highway 41. And as we take a look at the twin bridges, well, a little bit farther down to the south of where we were looking, there's the southbound bridge, there's the northbound bridge, and the traffic is rolling both lanes. Nice to see. And of course, all the lanes, too, on 66 headed into Warwick County and into Vanderbilt County on the Lloyd Expressway are running well. Pretty, pretty good, anyway. Uh, Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union. Oh, check this out. Look, isn't that kind of neat? You got the you almost like hop clouds. Boom, boom, stair step up. Uh, kind of neat there on the Evansville Riverfront. That's our superior ag camera there at Fifth Third Bank. And, of course, you've got a few puffy, small, fair weather cumulus clouds out there over Owensboro. What a beautiful sunrise it was in Owensboro, too. We had a few high clouds out there this morning. I'm going to show you a picture in a few minutes. As we take a look right now at the numbers at the Evansville Airport, 56 degrees. Uh, we're working our way up into the low and mid-60s for high today. Not quite as warm as yesterday. With this April sunshine, though, we've really bounced back pretty quickly. From where we were this morning, we dropped down into the 30s here in Evansville. Some locations were in the mid-30s, so might have had a little bit of frost out there. Didn't have any reports of that. But still, I mean, when you get those temperatures in the, the mid-30s, you've got to worry a little bit about frost. Although, it's not a hard freeze, so I think the plants could be okay. And same for tomorrow. We might see a few uh, spots of patchy frost, but at the same time, nothing widespread expected with some clouds moving in. Uh, North-northwest wind at 15 miles an hour. The wind's going to back off a little bit tomorrow, though, back to around, around 5 to 10, like it was yesterday. Uh, Temperature-wise, how low can we go? 48 in French Lake, 49 in Jasper, 50 degrees in Flora, 51 in Fairfield, 52 in Carmi, 53 in Owensboro, 54 from Mama and Calhoun, 55 degrees in Madisonville, and there we are at 56, leading the pack in Evansville, and we should be in the mid-60s for a high today. I'm calling it 64. Look at this great shot from yesterday when the clouds broke up. Frank Knight got this shot of these cloud streaks. Those are horizontal convective rolls. We saw a few of those, too, the day before. So, I mean, back-to-back -back days, and really when you think about it, I mean, Tuesday and Wednesday were pretty similar. We had rain in the morning, had those clouds, and then we saw the, you know, the clouds break up. Took a little bit longer yesterday, but still, we had some sunshine both afternoons. And when the clouds broke up, you know, the first day, we saw some horizontal convective roll clouds, and the cloud streets were back, these stripes in the sky, and it looks really great on that deep blue sky. Frank, thank you so much. That was in Henderson, where you got that shot yesterday afternoon. Live first morning, Doppler's nothing, and Storm Tracker was showing a few clouds early this morning, made for a nice-looking sunrise. And now, pretty much straight sunshine out there. Just those little puffs of clouds out there that aren't really being indicated on our satellite. And noticing a few clouds kind of traipsing down from the north. We are going to see a few clouds move in this afternoon, mainly up to the northeast, but still not bringing any rain out there. As we take a look at our satellite picture, let's go ahead and take a look at the big picture down to the south. Showers and some thunderstorms riding along the Gulf Coast. That's where the action is. And where is Angie going to be tomorrow at this time? <laughs> let's zoom in a little closer, shall we? There's Panama City right now getting inundated. That just means all of... All of those plants and trees are just going to be so vibrant for you. Uh, <laughs> you'll be on the back side of that by the time you get down there. So that works out pretty well. Just, I'm glad you didn't leave yesterday and we're down there today. Then you've been inundated. Uh, future tracker not showing anything but straight sunshine for the rest of the afternoon. But again, we do have a few clouds to be moving in, a little bit more than what we see out there right now. As we head into evening, a few more clouds stacking up from the west, and then plenty of clouds out there first thing tomorrow morning, so that should help us from having any widespread frost. I mean, when you have a clear sky at night, that radiational cooling, the temperature will drop. The clouds act as a blanket at night. It's going to help us some. Still think we're going to bottom out around 40 degrees, so it's going to be a chilly start to the day tomorrow. Then a mix of sun and clouds for our Friday. Now, as we head into the evening on Friday, the latest run on our future track now bringing a little bit of rain in a little earlier uh, than earlier runs uh, before midnight, but I think for most of this could be after midnight before we start to see some spotty showers. And then first thing Saturday morning, we got some rain out there on the board, too. The rain should taper off a little bit in the afternoon, but still a chance out there in the afternoon, too, but mainly in the morning. High today is going to be low to mid-60s, so it is going to be nice and cool out there. But that beautiful sunshine, we've got plenty of that. 
throughout the rest of the day. Maybe not so beautiful wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour, but at the same time, we're going to be noticing no rain today or tomorrow. Then the rain moves in. It looks like early Saturday morning for most of us. Temperatures will be in the low 60s, so it's going to be chillier. A lot of clouds out there Saturday and Sunday, too, for that matter. And then temperatures stay in the 60s as we head into next week. And we do have chances for rain, slight chances on Tuesday and Wednesday. So still fairly dry, except for Saturday morning. But you don't care, Angie. You won't be anywhere close That's to here. That's exactly right. But you <laughs> well, were close to this place. Yeah, it will be good for us. Yeah, I think it looks out, looks pretty well. Oh, look at that. Check out that sunrise ah. this morning. This is from the 270, straight out of Owensboro. The 270 Drones Aerial Imagery. Uh, they have a Twitter account. They have some great shots. Oh, and get their goodness. drones up there. And that's pretty close to the shot we had. Theirs looks better than mine that I had this morning. But that looks really good. It's just an Gorgeous sunrise over For Owensboro. Real and they got beautiful. the goods there at the 270. We'll be back right after this.